Hey guys, it's me, Sherry, and I'm back <laughs> again. Um, I didn't think it would be this soon, but I was looking in my closet today, going through my shoes of what I was going to put on my feet today, and I realized I had gotten a lot of new sandals that I thought you guys would love to um, see since this is more of a fashion channel, I guess. And um, so I just thought I'd share them with you, and uh, you might be interested in it. So um, I will get started. So these sandals, all of these sandals were purchased um, within the last probably two months or a month and a half. So um, a lot of them are probably still available and still out there. So the first ones I'll start with, I bought two sandals at, two pairs of sandals at Target, which let me just say this about Target. Actually, I've got three pairs of sandals. Um, Target has a brand called Sam and Libby and it is Sam Edelman. I think it's him and his wife who do a brand for Target. And I will say this, I've bought three this year and I have bought a couple of, over the past years and I've really found them very comfortable, very wearable and I've actually worn, um, that's why I went back to Target because I worn the last two pairs I bought out. So I basically threw them out because I couldn't wear them anymore. They're great sandals to wear out and around the house because they're just that comfortable. Um, the first pair I'm actually wearing today and they're very similar to the uh, Gladiator sandal that I bought. I um, showed on Instagram, however, that was more of a leg, a higher leg, but anyway. Okay, so this is the first sandal, and these are probably the most comfortable sandal that I've gotten this summer or this year. And they just zip up in the back, so once you have this all figured out, you never have to figure it out again. And this is just molded to my foot. I love, so I, I probably paid maybe between 20 and $25 for these, and um, they are just as comfortable and just as nice as the ones I got from Boston Proper for $175. Um, I'll just kind of compare, show you the two. So that those are the two. And seriously, they are the same. Absolutely the same. Like comfort. Um, I feel like even the leather is kind of the same. I don't know. It just seems so similar. So anyway... Just thought I'd share that with you. And these are just so comfy, love them. And um, putting it back on my foot. And then the next pair, next couple of pairs, whoops, that I got from Target are these ones. Let me see, the brand is, what is that brand? It is, I'm not sure it's so faded now because I took these actually away with me when I went to, make, to Jamaica three weeks ago and as you can tell there's lots of sand still on it and um, I wore these a lot to the beach. Um, they're like a gold metallic, very comfy. I love them. Just, I don't know what, I mean they're just amazing. At Target, um, probably under 20 bucks again. Just, they're great for going away. And I even wore these um, one night with my Maxi. I took, my feet were uncomfortable so I just went back to my room and grabbed these and put them on because they're just so comfy and still I think very dressy, like you can really dress them up. So anyway, and then the other pair that I bought, I haven't even worn yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to wear them. I don't, I don't know. I kind of love them, but I haven't worn them yet. So I don't know. <laughs> I feel like they're kind of like a little cheap. I hate to say it. Maybe on the foot they don't look it, but I don't know. When I touch them and that, it just seems like a little cheap. So I don't know if I'm going to ever wear them. But anyway, just had to show you them. Then the next two pairs I bought were from Dillard's. And um, we just have a new Dillard's that, um, we had a Dillard's in this mall that I go to a lot. But then they, they moved it and renovated it and did a whole new updated uh, Dillard's. So it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the shoe department in there is huge. It's amazing. I love it. Um, so anyway, I went there to find a couple of more dressier sandals for when I went away. And these are the two that I bought. And they're by the same, they're by the same person. And let me see if I can pronounce it. Aturo Chang. That's the name right there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can hold it up for you. And the studs on these are exact, ex no, is it these ones? No. Not these ones. <laughs> I didn't. I think they might be though. Um, they're very similar to the Rock Stud Valentino that I do own the heel. 
Um, and this, the studs are very, very similar. It's hard to tell the difference. Um, but anyway, this is another great shoe, very comfy. Um, this part just wraps around your ankle. And again, love it, goes with everything. I think you can dress it up, dress it down. I wore these a lot to both the beach and to dinner. And then the other pair I got, so that's just your basic nude, which goes with everything. And then I thought I'd like a nice little dressy black pair. Now these have rock studs on them. And they're also uh, a Toro Chang. And both these shoes were around 70 to maybe a hundred, close to 100 bucks. I'm not sure. And um, anyway, they have a rock stud on here. And I'm, I compared the two. And they are, are exactly the same rock stud as the Valentino uses. So, And I think Valentino might even have a shoe like this. And I love the little heel. So this can be very dressy. I wouldn't necessarily obviously wear this to the beach. But it's a great every, you could wear it during the day. I think, you know, it still would look great, not too dressy. And then obviously at night, I think it looks really nice. So that's that. And then the next two pairs of sandals that I got um, are I bought from Boston Proper. And those are these ones, which I love these. They're $175, but... They're worth every penny. I bought the Jeffrey Campbell ones from Free People. I don't know if you guys remember that, like three years ago, and they were so tight around my leg. And I think I might have a little bit of a big calf, but it's not like huge or abnormal or anything. So anyway, I ended up selling them on Poshmark because I just, every time I put them on, they were just so uncomfortable. And when I take them off, I would have literal, literally the imprint of the whole gladiator on my whole leg. And it just, wasn't a cute look <laughs> and plus it wasn't comfortable so um i found these tried them on and the best thing about these is yes they zip all the way up but the best thing about these and they're sam edelman is once again you can lace them you can put them as wide as you want um like your calf could be huge and i think they will still fit you because you can lace them up as far apart as you want um, and then just tie them and again once you have them set you just have to, you'll never have to touch the front again, and you just have to zip it up from the back, and that's it. And they are adorable. Um, these are true to size as well. Love the color even. I mean, it's such a great, it looks so good when you have a tan. So, so cute. Great with maxi shorts. Um, if you're into mini skirts, I don't really wear mini skirts, but high-low skirts, this looks amazing with. Um, so anyway, and, and dresses, obviously. So love these, love these. And then the next pair, I was a little hesitant to get, but I did get them because I thought, I, okay, so what they are, they're these, and who are they by? They're by Mia, and I got these at Boston Proper as well, and they're so cute. They're just a scarf, kind of, and I and I thought, if I get these, I'm probably going to have to wear the scarf right at the ankle instead of having it crisscross and look really gladiator style, but... Because uh, I thought they would just fall down because of the scarf, but actually they don't. So if you tie it up, and I don't mean you have to squeeze your leg and you have no blood blood circulation, you just have to tie it up a little bit snug and it stays up. I wore these in Jamaica one night and they never fell down. I never had to pull them back up, nothing. They were perfect. I absolutely love them. I hope they're still available. I'm not sure, but they're Mia. I got them at Boston Proper. Really cute. I think they're just darling. I wore them actually with the free people. Uh, Maxi on my Instagram, you can see see the picture and just love them. Absolutely great. And you can wear these even to the beach. I think they'd be so cute with a kimono cover up. Just they're just a cute little shoe, darling. And then the next two, they actually have um, a heel on them. Sorry, I have to keep ducking, but so these I also got. Um, the first pair, they're Sam Edelman, um, and I got these from Nordstrom's Rack, so I don't know if you can find them anywhere else, but I've never seen them before, and I just went to this shoe section, because I love their shoes at Nordstrom's Rack, you can sometimes find a great deal, and I found these, and I love, love these shoes. The way the fashion is headed, they have the pom-poms and all these beautiful, wonderful, fabulous colors, and they have tassels and all these colors, and it's such a great shoe. It's a fun shoe. Um, it just adds that amazing little boho touch to your outfits if you're feeling like boho, um, or if you just 
have just a plain outfit that you want to jazz up. These are like the perfect shoe, and the heel is not bad. They're pretty. They're pretty comfortable for. Um, it's probably like a three and three quarter inch heel, I think. And um, I absolutely love these. Love them. They look so cute on the foot too. And then the last pair I got, I just recently got over the weekend um, from Nordstrom's, and they're Vince Camuto. And Vince Camuto is probably one of my. Um, I would say department store shoes that I, it's a go-to shoe. Every Vince Camuto shoe I have bought, and I have a lot of them in my closet, they're very comfortable. They're very, they're so well padded here. Like I'm just, I love Vince Camuto. They're just, com they're comfortable. They fit my foot perfectly. Um, I just love their shoe. However, I did wear these over the past weekend. And when I tried them on, I love the heel. I love the color. It's called Orchid. Um, and I wanted a shoe that just was very simple, a little dressy, something you could wear with jeans, um, a dress, just, you know, an all around well, good looking shoe that adds just a little bit of interest to any outfit. And I thought with all the great colors that are out this season, I think this is such a great color to um, for the summer, for the spring. And anyway, so I have a little bit of a wider foot. So I order, so I didn't order. I tried on, so this is a seven. I usually am a seven or seven and a half. I, they didn't have a seven and a half, so I tried on the seven and it fit, I have a smaller foot. It fit my smaller foot perfectly. So, but when I put it on my bigger foot, it was a little snug. And sh the lady, sales lady said, yes, they'll stretch. They were snug here. The length was fine for a seven. Um, but I did, I said, can I just try on the eight just to see what it would be like? And it was way too long, way too big. Um, just like, forget it was ridiculous. I couldn't even walk in it, even with my bigger foot. So, um, and the seven and a half would have been way too big on my smaller foot. So <laughs> that being said, I ended up getting the seven. I wore them over the weekend and the length is perfect, but with my bigger foot, this was, it was killing me by the end of the day. I couldn't wait to take these off. So I'm, I'm hoping it's going to stretch. So I'm going to, I'm really going to, cross my fingers because I love these shoes and these come in a few different colors. I know they have a floral uh, color. Um, they have a black. Black looks so cute on the foot. And um, anyway, they're, I found them at Nordstrom's. They're Vince Camuto, so you can check them out. I would try them on though. Um, that's all I can say. I wouldn't recommend ordering these online. So and that is it. So I'm now still on the hunt for a couple more really cute um, colored shoes. I want to get like a red or a corally red. I know, I think it's, um, Steve Madden has a fringe. It, it looks like this, but the heel is a lot bit bigger, but it looks like this one has fringe here. I know Aquazaro or I don't know that high end, um, like I think they're $900 shoes. Well, the Steve Madden ones are total knockoff, but I love them and I don't want to spend a lot of money on a sandal that you really can't tell once it's on your foot if it's a designer or it's not. So um, anyway, I haven't tried those on yet. They're fringe on the, on the toe here. And I know right now Macy's is having a friends and family event for, I think it's free shipping and 25% off. So I have it in my cart right now. But I'm not sure if I should get it. Um, there's a lot of questions in the reviews about the sizing. Um, and again, they say that it's very narrow. So I'm not sure what to do. If any of you have um, bought, gotten a pair of those, um, let me know. I'd love to hear what you think of those. Um, and I think friends and family is only on till the end of today, maybe, I think. So I'm not sure what to do. Um, so I was looking at those and because I kind of want some more friend, I want another fun pair of shoes for summer to go with, you know, my boyfriend jeans and just uh, cropped skinnies. Um, so that's what I'm looking for. And I'd love to get red or coral. I think that looks amazing with a tan. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram. I have a fashion blog and everything is under Sherry Style One. Don't forget the one. It's not just Sherry Style. It's Sherry Style One. I also have a Pinterest page and I also sell a lot of my items that I'm not wearing anymore on Poshmark under Sherry Style One as well. And um, so that's it. And I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.